Hello, welcome back to Metropolis. It's Sciences? Sciences Desert? Yeah, that sounds right. At this point, we've played so many of these runs that I have like a, a map associated with each, with each of the characters. So like, Builder, Forest, Scientist, Coast, Merchant, Coast, Shaman and General, Desert, navigator forest in my mind this is the this is the map association however that is wrong probably i don't really know uh sure uh, i mean it's not necessarily wrong there shouldn't be an association whatsoever One moment i must clear my throat much better just finished eating had a little uh had a little dinner between last episode and now. I also recorded Stone Shard between last episode and now. So, you know, it's it's quite a bit later. So it's, it's two whole hours later, actually, I may even say. And now, how's it going today? How you doing? It is Thursday afternoon for you, probably. Recording this at 5.30, which is when uh, yesterday's episode goes up. That's when these episodes always go up. It's, uh... The perfect time. Not really. I mean, it doesn't. Really, it doesn't really matter. I don't think anyway. Experiments, ambush, expedition. We'll just take a removal. I actually think it's good to just get toss experiments right away. The only way it ever makes me money is it from stuff off of discovery. So it's like forty gold every sixty seconds. Is that very good? No. No, that's not very good. I would say. Quick math here. You get 90 gold at the cost of 60, or you get 60 gold at the cost of 40. So it's better to play this. You can earn 30 gold instead of 20 gold. Well, I wasn't sure of that. Well, all as well. Hopefully you're doing well today. Hopefully you're hanging in there as always. I'm doing fine, as usual. Looking into uh, some interesting stuff. I saw that there's a course online for free from Johns Hopkins University. I think it's Johns Hopkins. It might be John Hopkins, but that doesn't seem right. Either way, there's a course online for free about, or not about, but to learn to be a contact tracer for this whole pandemic thing. And I've been like, man, I kind of feel like I should be doing something like productive to help out, you know? So I'm like, hey, maybe I'll take this course and go volunteer. We'll see, right? I'm like, on the one hand, it's like, oh, aren't I afraid to catch the virus? Yeah, sure, but also, like, someone's gotta do this shit, right? May as well be me. I'm at a probably a pretty good chance of not being gotten. But we'll see. Oh, it's like a six hour course or something like that, and it doesn't look like there's anyone, there's not a whole lot looking for uh, this position it seems like from what I was looking at online just a moment ago but I could have just missed it wait I was taking a look at that be fun something to do you know it's like man oh man oh uh, military card is probably fine here yeah guardian's good getting an early guardian is good guardian on this map is not so important uh we're going to look for oh, there's a few different options for what we're gonna look for are long term to survive the fire arrows. There's a lot of them, right? We could do. I mean, shit. We could do longbow, we could do druids and crossbows, we could do just anything with enough damage. It's just a matter of making sure that they don't have a great chance of hitting before my army shoots off, right? That's all. And we'll see what we can do for that. Uh, guardian even. One guardian on either side really holds these waves forever pretty much. But yeah, other than that, nothing new going on today. You know the deal. I remove a cheese. Could remove militia at this point as well, but I'll remove both cheese. We'll keep an airstrike here. Did you see that they're reworking, or not reworking, they're remastering Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2? That's pretty sweet. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 was my first game, if you haven't heard me say that before. Did you hear a noise? Am I insane? I guess I am. 
I swear I heard something behind me, but no. I guess not. If I've lost it. But no, the remaster in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Pro Skater 2 was my first game. However, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not losing my mind. I'm not like, oh shit, my childhood or anything like that. I'm just like, eh, cool. I'm probably not gonna, like, buy them. I imagine they're remastering them for the PC as well as other platforms. I don't know, though. Annery over the house here. Income is at an all-time low. But I hope they don't fuck it up. Honestly. It's, it's pretty hard to fuck up, though, I feel like. The game kind of speaks for itself. If you ask me. It's a good game. Great classic. Good fun. Very easy to play. But I think a lot of... Uh, a lot to master. It's a good one to go back to if you never played it. Plus, it's got Tony Hawk in it, and Tony Hawk's a pretty cool dude, in my opinion. Uh, these are all worth it. Oh, I could jump the wall there, how about that? Huh. I didn't expect him to make it over that wall. But yeah, Tony Hawk, uh, one of the few people I follow on Twitter, and I'm just like, oh yeah, I can't wake up, can't wait to see what Tony Hawk said today. Because he's always got a lot of really good stories in him. He has, a, like, an ongoing theme. Theme? Not necessarily, but an ongoing, uh, like, I guess, trend where people mistake him, or people, people will come up to him in person and be like, hey, you look like Tony Hawk, and he'll just, like, play it off completely naturally, like, oh yeah? Huh. Or, like, people will be like, hey, are you Tony Hawk? And he'll be like, yeah. And he'll be like, hey, can we get a picture? And he's like, yeah. But it's, just, it's a lot of great stories of him just like, it's mo more so it's just stories of him getting, having people come up to him and go, hey, you look familiar, and him go, huh, I wonder why, and just like not say anything else. I was hoping to delay putting down a guardian to get these militia killed, but no, they lived. How sad. I almost want to take out Potter, go down to three cards in this deck though, wasn't that crazy? Yeah, it is. The old three card switcheroo. You've heard of five card stud, now get ready for three card deck. This is it, it's just guardian, guardian grain and guards. Triple G. Thinking about that patrol, probably not. Thinking about lumber mill, probably not. Wall I want, but I'll just refresh. Crossbow rat, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. On crossbow rat. And then breed's pretty good. Look at that, we can buy two cards and still have a five card deck. Pretty sweet. We'll just get going on the breeds. We want to pick up a restaurant, really. I'm having trouble with the guard stack, which is why we're going to let crossbow rat do his thing here. Hopefully, do it well. And yeah, not a bad spot, I would say. Not a perfect spot, but not a bad spot. Mm, none of these matter. You know, I've talked talked at length about my experience with Twitter. It's my experience with just the internet in general. Of, I, I spend most of my time in the past on the internet, just like in anonymity. So making content is very strange because it's like, hey, now instead of just being nobody, like literally just being a, I don't ever speak in Twitch chats. I'm trying to be someone that people know, and that's kind of hard. Not that hard, though. It's more... I've, I've thought about this. In the past. I am like... What's going on with me? I don't know. I can't finish a sentence. But I... thought about this in the past, or it's more like I'm gonna take money here. No, it's, it's not so much I want to be... Or, no, 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 not like this. It's... Give me money here, I think, actually. Nice. Perfect. We've gone for the card, but I feel like there's a chance it's terrible. It's not that I have trouble talking to people, it's that I feel like... Basically, every time I go to say anything, it's like, yeah, well, who asked? Idiot. And I go, yeah, fair. Yeah. 
But with this, it's like, well, you guys asked. By clicking this video, you've signed the unwritten contract. The blood pact has been sealed. Uh, you've signed over your firstborn, and in seven days, I'll be released once more onto the world. The doom upon this world awakes. You mortals better watch out. And, uh, but in actuality, it's like, yeah, you clicked on this video, so you really gonna give me Arbalist here? And you also might want to know what I have to say. I think Arbalist is probably good. Plus we have Ding Dong. Crossbow Rat's gone. Some breeds going here. Let's we'll see where we land. I feel okay in this position. Also, I think that that kind of, like, this, this isn't me just, like, move, moving on because I dropped that one. I think that was more like, yeah, it's about all I have to say about it. I've talked about this one at length before. I've got whole episodes dedicated to this. This is basically, like, these, these videos are basically just me meditating. I imagine this is what you do when you meditate. I don't really know. I don't really meditate. I'm more about the deditate, uh, the deditated wham, that is. Or your Minecraft server. I wonder how that kid's doing. Dedicated Wham. That's a classic. I need a wall. Is what I mean. You know, it's like I, I always often see, I will often see an old classic and go, huh? Wonder wonder how this person's doing. You know, like I wonder how the dude who sang Troll a Wall is doing right now. One of those questions that's like, huh? I wonder how that's going for him. I'm gonna take this building because it's so good here, but we're gonna suffer two dead cards in the hand for a while here. But basically, let me let me give you, you know, let me give you a little Retropolis talk here. Why am I willing to make that move there when in many other situations I completely would pass without a moment's notice? I would be like, yes, no way will I do this. And it's a very easy question to answer. I can take the library here and have it be a dead card because this army will hold for a while. Oh, also I can full heal those guys. Can't I? Like this army's gonna hold it down for a minute or two. I think we can live the four waves I need to live for another wall to show up. Without much fear. I can just take it easy here until we get our next wall. And that's basically it. You have to, when, when you're making a choice like that, because this is a very greedy choice to take this library and this barn, but when you're making a choice like that, you basically just have to ask yourself, will you survive until the next wall is available? How long will it be? About three waves. Can I survive three waves? Yeah, probably. I'll take treasure hunter there. It's, like, it's bad for my symmetry. Not that it, like, actually sim it, but like, it's, it's just, it's so good. I gotta go for it. The other two I don't care about, but I'll play Treasure Hunter. 5% chance for a treasure chest, you give me like one treasure chest and that's insane value. Like it's, it's real good value. Also I love crossbow for bosses like this. Having crossbow able to just wipe out all of his... Like th this guy is a boss who just has a beefcake that tanks for him. And your crossbows will kill all of his extra. That's where Crossbow, I think, really shines, in killing the extra units. I'm not going to take Territory Expansion here, we're going to upgrade Breed. For sure we're going to upgrade Breed. And we should get a buy. yeah, here's our treasure chest. A treasure chest, uh, here's our... What is he? Merchant. What the hell's wrong with me? So give me my blessed wall. I think I'm willing to grab a Pillage as well to ease this playing of these cards. It's gonna be very expensive otherwise. Uh, give me... Emergency here. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna play a card and we're gonna emergency to draw not what I wanna. Uh oh. Oh, it's fine. There's a I was gonna be a little sad if I didn't get that wall. I mean, if I didn't get that wall, we have another one coming right here if I need it. We are fine. We've got Breed for Population. We've got a decent set of uh, cards here for our long term. Population's good. Our money is the only problem, but with two aid stations, we actually are probably fine. I don't need card removal. This one has been a really blessed run for card removal. 
five five one. Ah, uh, you know, relying on crossbow rat at this juncture though may be a little concerning. When we get to fire arrow town, we're gonna need to have a pretty big stack of crossbows right in the go. But that is a problem to handle. That's one of those things that I can worry about and think about when we get there in six waves, right? It's not like I'm passing anything really good right now for crossbow. Get those more shells on. I'm not losing out on anything nuts, right? I'm not, like, Armored Knight's not gonna change that. We want, uh, what do we want instead? Uh, that's a great question, I don't know. Theoretically, if you get enough crossbows, it's fine. And by theoretically, I mean it as actually, like, in reality, it is that way. We will hopefully get up to, like, one or two hundred, one or two hundred crossbows? Like, like 30 crossbows would be a point where I would say we're good, for sure. I'll take the ambush here. Go ahead and pop that guy for 40. But yeah, you know, not a, as usual, not much going on. What's new? Nothing. Like, actually nothing. Just chilling out, taking it easy. I did, I don't know if I mentioned this recently, this is, this is where it all, this is where I end up repeating myself a lot because it's like, oh, did I talk about this in Ratropolis or did I talk about this on stream or maybe both? I don't know. I don't think assistant here. Extra, what is that? 45 health? Is that right? 45? Doesn't seem right. It is right, but it doesn't seem right. Upgrade on crossbow, excellent. One of this. House, raise tax. I should take raise tax. Yeah, raise tax lottery. How are you gonna offer me raise tax lottery and have me not take it? That's just free real estate right there. That's just that's just free, free, free. That's where I put in a cha-ching sound effect right there. Edit it in post. Open up this shop, hit that refresh, just zoom in on raise tax and lottery. Cha-ching. That's money, baby. Uh, I'm just gonna pass this. I should have taken release, actually. Release was a little bit better than passing. But to you, you guys really said I had to have spaced it out properly. Really, another wave just started. Am I insane? No, another wave didn't just start. I thought I heard the sound effect of another wave starting, but that was incorrect. All right. So we just need to win the lottery here. All right, just all my all my plans are hinged on this lottery. Excellent, we actually won. My plans weren't hinged on that, by the way. Uh, like if I didn't win that lottery, if I if I didn't win these two lotteries, we're fine because I have tax man, and I'm raising my tax up very high. We're not going to like lose the game. It's just winning that lottery makes this game significantly easier. Is how I would put it. We go from like. 90% chance to win to like 99% chance to win, I would say, with that lottery victory there. I'm good at winning the lottery when I need it, aren't I? A race tax is not quite in sync right now. Yeah, we're at 828, we're at 7 let's put another guardian now. I should be breathing as well. There's no reason not to be doing this sort of a move. Like, I'm, I'm slowing down. Brain slowing down a little bit here. We're okay. We generated 7k, so I can redraw as much as I want now. And as long as I just keep playing those two options, we're good, right? As long as I sit here, play raise tax lottery, breed, eventually we'll hit it. I think that my tax caps out around 320, though, with this. I think that 5 is about as many raised taxes as you can expect to play. If we get an upgrade on it, we'll be in the money money. But do I really want an upgrade on it? Not necessarily. Population. We're gonna just breed up to max now. Minus 4 tax? That actually, this is a pretty tough event. Take the minus four tax. It hurts a lot, but it's not the end of the world. I don't want to lose the two population there for sure. Nothing there. Losing that two tax 
or it wasn't that four attacks does suck, but I'm, now now it, it just means that I'm definitely going to upgrade this chest if I get offered it. And we have what ten times about ten on the uh, on the arbalist. Fire arrows we're gonna need a lot more before I feel comfortable with our position, but you know. We'll, like, we're definitely not good for fire arrows yet. It will end my life. I think I just need to play more crossbows. I think I've been in this position before where I just play a bunch of crossbows and then die. Yeah, we have a hit from attacks as well. 220, losing that, losing three tax costs me this much money. Well, it cost me almost 100 tax from raise tax. Yeah, I think unless we get, uh, right on here. What else was there? That's my thought. Unless we, unless we are to find Bannerat, I'm going to stop playing guards and we're just going to play as many crossbows as I can. We'll play like an extra guardian or two perhaps, but probably it's mostly going into the crossbow here. They do have assistant and we do have healing, so theoretically it shouldn't be so bad. These guys are 50 health, so they won't die in one fire as long as I keep the aid station ready to go. Just have battery breed crossbow. This is our loop right now. Raise tax. Crossbow, bleed, lottery. Doesn't necessarily have to be in that order. In fact, it's, as, as long as I play raise tax before lottery, it doesn't matter. But I gotta get that through the skull. And then our goal here is to just have enough crossbows that as soon as this wave spawns, it's wiped. I don't think we're in that position yet, but we can get there. And with with breed level two, with raise tax giving me all this money, I think that. We have this one. I'm gonna go up to 10 on the guards. I'm 26. I need to essentially double my crossbow numbers here. Get the heal. Mm, got it. Probably. I don't know, this one will be interesting too. Do I have it? Uncertain. I'm gonna keep taking leader level ups because the higher- the other thing about taking leader level up as the shaman is if things go wrong, you take enough leader levels up, you should theoretically hit- you should have a better chance of hitting something that saves your run when thing- if something goes wrong. That's uh, that's my thinking on it here. Pump this guy full of syringe. Pump him up. And we'll put another one down on the right side and pump him up as well. Oh. 16, last 17. You can see the population is booming right now. It's like every wave, more or less. So aid station is essentially 80 health every wave. Is one way to look at it. Losing guardians isn't great. Oh, I didn't hit space, but I'm just standing here. I don't know if we win these. Uh, I think that the boss will make a bit of a difference too. I'll take the house. The boss will make some of a difference here. I believe. I think we want it to be... Oh, we know who it is. It's not the Salamander twin. I think this is good. I think it's better that it's not Salamander. I'm making a case for Medic. But I think it's fine. I should refresh if I'm not gonna buy anything. This is a run that I'm like, I'm sitting forward, I'm trying hard here. There's a case to be made for herb as well. I wanna- if I lose this one, I wanna be sure it's because Crossbow Rad did not have enough chances. Like, I didn't have enough even at 20, right? That's what I wanna be sure of if I lose this one. I wanna be sure I played out all the crossbows I could've. Which does mean I have to sit up and play a lot of cards here. But that's okay. And yeah, it's Pyromancer. Which is fine. Sometimes when you pause the game, when he when when your crossbows fire, they do some weird shit. I don't wanna hit 
It is bombs, which the bombs are interesting. It kind of depends a little bit on your on, on the way the bomb gets thrown, right? Oh, I'm losing a bunch of crossbows because my guardians were just sitting around. I hate that. I swear, I need a button that just lets me like move my unit. I did pass on an herb earlier that I maybe should have taken. I'm hoping for first aid here, really. Like, I passed on medics how many times? I'm gonna take this medic and I'm going to remove guards. This does remove the option of going into uh, Banneret. I mean, it doesn't really, but it makes it less good to go into Banneret. But a few medics here, I think, helping out. Because it's not, it's not fire arrows yet. Medics are bad because they die to fire, but in this sort of a situation, I think they're still going to be fine. Got the whole deck, actually. Doesn't really matter the order. But I don't want to play Guardian every time. Play Guardians to five. You can see the big problem with crossbow on this map, though. They shoot, and they don't actually get full efficiency sometimes. But now we're to the point where they are more or less wiping everything out. And we got lucky on the no fire arrows. I clicked it. I did click it. Alright. Hey, the treasure hunter paid out, finally. You know, a little late, but you know what, treasure hunter? Your heart's in the right place. Good work. Should definitely put a medic down over here. A little sooner to get the healing going. But yeah. This is one of those runs, while it's looking pretty strong, it's also one of the runs that's like, wow, this is a lot of stuff I have to do here. Like, I'm playing pretty actively throughout the run. And that's kind of the downside of playing something like Crossbow Heavy, where I'm just playing out a bunch of crossbows, is it's hard to actually keep up with the population demands. Like, it's hard. It's actually t tough to play out enough crossbows. With the medics, it's not as tough, but it still is a bit of a challenge. You can see those fucking arrows flying like crazy. I think that if I were to do this run again, I probably would not remove guards. I would probably go up to 20 guards just to have... In the, in the position where you have infinite of all of these things that I have, population, money, you're probably slightly better off to go into Anna's yeah, Banner at. Probably was a lot better to stick with some guards because it's a little more flexible when you get into the banner rats as well. But you know, it's still good. We're not we're not to it yet though. Next, the wave after the one that we're about to face is where we get to it. It being fire arrows. We will see how we do then. We have thirty crossbows, which you would think would be for sure a win. However, you'd be surprised. And the thing that's really surprising is that I'm actually breeding faster than I'm able to play out crossbow. We're gonna stop at 10 medics, I think. There's also no reason for me to do that. Yeah, you get a good look at how much damage these crossbows are doing here. Guardian Medic was the first thing anyone ever pitched to, to me. Like, this was the combo that someone was like, yeah, this is basically the only way you beat the game. I now know that uh, that take was ridiculous. Guardian Medic is actually, especially on release, Guardian was really bad. I'm only just recently coming back into understanding that Guardian's actually a decent pickup. Recently being the time of the YouTube channel, where I went through uh, a up and down with him, where I was like, yeah. Uh, Guardian's the only, like, Guardian Medic is the only combo that wins the game, and then that was followed up by Guardian is, like, someone else was like, no, like, you fool, Guardian is the worst unit in the game, which was then followed up by, uh, I'm just gonna formulate my own opinion while I make a YouTube series, and on the YouTube series, yeah, Medic's pretty good. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 197, we need to play two more of these. A Guardian Medic? It's not bad. The game actually lags when they all shoot a little. Are there no fire arrows right now? Huh. Where are they? I think the medics are also being kept alive. There they are. By that extra little help and assistance. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Right there. Could have taken the building card, by the way. 
breed. I can remove my economy cards. I should have removed my economy cards. I don't need them anymore. We're just playing shield rat. Or not shield rat. Uh, crossbow rat. Oh yeah. I'll play like one more medic. Why not? The why not is because symmetry, but... I have 43 population to spend here. I don't think I'm going to make it. Outside of doing an infinite, I don't think there's any way you play out this entire population. In just crossbows. There's a reason that I typically don't get much past 40. First fire arrow lands, let's see how much damage it wreaks. Second fire arrow hits, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. That's what the aid stations are in, in position for now. Right, when the fire arrow lands, you just... I see a bomb flying in like that though, I can't help but sweat a little bit. We're at seven. I think it's good to have a few more than five, but I have no basis for that claim. Various tags no longer need it. Thank you for your work. I, like, I haven't- I don't have any science or anything to back up, like, yes, you want seven units, or seven frontliners, but it seems like the number that works for me. But really, the number that works for me is the, uh, the 39 on the crossbow rat front. So you can buffer your redraw? Huh, didn't know that. See the game starting to struggle with this a little bit? I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it just a little bit, it's just a little bit of lag. From all of these crossbows shooting. The touch. Kinda kinda waiting for it to crash on me. But I'd be surprised considering I'm sure I'm not the first person to do something like this. Spider. You can actually see where the spider's coming from, by the way. Now. How do we do against the spider? Uh probably bad. Probably bad. Sustain damage isn't exactly our forte here. But, who knows, we got to 50 crossbows, which is probably, this is the highest I've ever gone in crossbows. This is like a, a single volley is going to do, like in, how much damage is the first volley gonna do? I wanna see this. Seven hundred and twenty-five. It doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a lot. Uh, I need to aid station that fire. Yeah, those, this is gonna be a long fight. But that's a that's a lot of damage. Right there. First aid will actually help out quite a bit. Oh, one of these guards died? How many of these guards died? Uh -huh. I didn't want to use that. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, he probably died when the pyromancer teleported across, didn't he? Yeah, that's gotta be what it was. Pyromancer teleported across and he was walked out in front of the fucking wall. You know, see, eight stations are back again? Holy shit. I said this was gonna be a long fight, I wasn't kidding. This is a pack. That's what we gotta watch for the fire. Game struggled a little bit there, but we got there. Ooh, buddy. That was, uh, that's an interesting one. 50 crossbows. That's, I played 100 crossbows on the entire map. That's a lot of crossbows. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave me a like. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.